Hey, what's up Mr. YouTube? My name is Miss Alien Streams, and I'll present you this following stream. I'm new here, so don't judge me too hard. This being said, let me release the stream. Here's how to sideload iOS apps to iPhone or iPad on Windows using the Cydia Impactor tool. No jailbreak is required for this to work. Without wasting your precious time, I'll go ahead with the following steps. Step 1, you'll need to download the Cydia Impactor tool. It's a free of charge download, and you can get it from cydiaimpactor.com. You'll find all the links in the description of this video. You will of course need to download the right version for your OS, in my case right here, I'll go with Windows. Once that is done, extract the contents of the downloaded Cydia Impactor package and make sure to save the files somewhere safe on the machine. Step 2. Now, you will need to have the IPA file of the app in question that you want to sideload. There's a lot of IPA file sources out there, but I'll link the one I'm using in the description below. This IPA will be entirely different for every application, but of course, will have been created in the same manner. Step 3. Once you have got the IPA file of the app you want to sideload, connect the iOS device in question to your Mac or PC via USB, and make sure that the latest version of iTunes is installed on that machine. Step 4. Launch Cydia Impactor executable file from the stored files downloaded above. Step 5. When Cydia Impactor is launched, select the connected device from the first drop-down. Step 6. Now, drag and drop the downloaded app's IPA file onto the Cydia Impactor window. Enter your valid Apple ID and password and click OK. It is important to note here that using a free Apple developer account ID will cause the app's certificate to expire in 7 days, after which you will have to repeat this process. A full Apple developer ID signs with certificates that remain valid for a year. Step 8. When you receive a dialog warning advising that any existing Apple developer certificate will be revoked and replaced, select OK to continue. This step actually may not happen, but still consider it. So, let's go with the next one. Step 9. Cydia Impactor will handle the heavy lifting of fetching the relevant certificates from Apple's developer portal, and will digitally sign the IPA to validate it. This may take a few seconds, so please wait patiently. You can experience some errors along the process. I'll have the links for the fixes in the video description below. Step 10. Once the app has been sideloaded and you see the apps icon on the home screen, head into Settings, then General, then Profile and Device Management and find the profile that it just installed for your app. You will need to tap on it and trust the certificate to allow it to run. Now, go back to the home screen and tap on the side-loaded apps icon to run it on your non-jailbroken iPhone or iPad. Congrats! You did it! Now, if this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe for more to come. Thank you!